Alaska is a state where simply not that many people want to live in. I personally think it's because it's right next to Russia, but it also doesn't help it's like the Antarctica of the north with extremely cold temperatures and a lot of snow. But there are people who live there. You've got fishermen, oil workers, and the typical carpenters, cashiers, and receptionists. That's why today I'm creating a college football team for the Alaska people to hopefully get this place buzzing. The Alaska Polar Bears are the newest team in Division 1 college football, but it will not be an easy program to take over. The program would start as a 45 overall with every player being a redshirt senior. We gotta have a rival, so we chose the closest state to us. Us, the Washington Huskies. Conference-wise, we'll start out as an independent, but once we won eight games, we'll set up camp in the Mountain West. Lastly, on the recruiting trail, we can only recruit three-star talent for the entire video. Since we're in Alaska, it's also next to Russia, and we won't ever be in a power conference, so I mean, who wants to come here? It's certainly not a destination job for a college football coach, so the AD had to go deep into his search to find one man, Sammy Quagmire, who has been waiting for his opportunity as a Division One head college football coach. He believes this new program has potential, for some reason thinks he can win the state of Alaska a national title. Well, you can't say we didn't win a game, although I have no idea how we did that. 43 overall team, 109 points scored. Our defense was really, like, that bad, but yeah, we were awful. Who did we upset? We were getting drilled by everybody. Dude, none of these games are close. Only lost to Youngstown State by three. We got destroyed, man. We played nobody good either except for Washington. But, oh, we beat the Citadel. Then we ended the season losing to South Dakota. Since Coach Quagmire knew that we sucked this year, he's basically just been recruiting the entire time he's been on the job, and it looks like it has paid off, dude, because this class so far looks really sneaky good for a first year class. We already have 10 guys committed and honestly, there's some studs here as you guys can see. Like, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, 70 plus overalls and we got this Chris Cooks guy who looks insane. It's graduation day. We gotta say adios to all these compadres as usual when it comes to these videos. None of these guys were very good so I'm not really gonna miss them that much but I wish you guys the best of luck especially in Alaska where I think like the day is the night and the night is the day. I know that makes no sense but apparently in Alaska like the sun is out when you're supposed to be sleeping and sometimes it's like 20 hours of sunlight a day. I would become an insomniac. That would be horrible. I don't know how you guys are gonna be able to do it. If I were you, I would move away. And for the transfers this year coming to Alaska, there is not a single guy on the board. So yeah, I don't really know how that's the case. I know Alaska is basically Antarctica's brother, but I mean, some of you guys gotta give this place a chance, man. It's gonna be hard for Coach Quagmire to build something special here, that's for sure. First Saturday day of the Coach Quagmire era, and it's, I don't know, I'm not feeling too great about it, to be honest with you. Michael Swedenberg, I really want this guy, but I'm sure LSU is gonna push for him. We'll see what happens there. I'm not going after Ray Keller or Nate. Nathan, because we already have a quarterback and a running back commit, so I figured just go after the wide receiver. I feel like that would make the most sense. Brennan Marine that we're going after because we have a really good lead there, and we need a tight end, but the rest of these guys, I just don't have enough points, man. That's the moral of the story, unfortunately. Did not get Jordan Pringle. I didn't really push for him. We got Michael Swedenberg and Roberson and Brennan Marine. Oh my goodness. Only 10,000 points, Coach Quagmire, but we made some magic happen, dude. Let's go. So that makes this the first signing class of the Coach Quagmire era, and it's so good, dude. We got 280-plus overalls. I mean, what's not to like about the class, man. Especially it being a first year class. Like, if this is like a year three or a year four class, like, I'd be really happy with it, but this is a year one class, dude. So, yeah, I'm ecstatic, man. I think top to bottom, we did a great job. Michael Swedenberg, I have no idea why you chose us over LSU, but I will take it, dude. You are such a good player. Chris Cooks, like, nobody recruited him. This guy is a gem from the middle of nowhere. Wawoka, Oklahoma. That is a sweet town name. Ronald Woolridge, this guy's 6'6", 186. He's basically a twig. You could probably snap him in half if you tried hard enough, and he needs to get some meat on his bones, dude. That's for sure. Mark Roberson, really good receiver. Nate Suttle, 6'6", outside linebacker. Mike Whipple, another 6'6", guy. There's a lot of height in this class, which is very, very nice. Almost a top 50 class for us. One spot behind 51st. I mean, I'm happy with it. Clearly, we're gonna have a crap ton of walk-ons. I'm really hoping that one of those guys are good, but I sincerely doubt it. Year two of the Coach Sammy Quagmire era at Alaska for the Polar Bears. The team's definitely better than the team last year. There's no doubt about that. I mean, maybe we could win, like, two games this year. Maybe two FCS schools. We'll see. I mean, we were better, I think. I mean, we gave up a lot more points, which doesn't really make sense, but we scored over 100 more points, so I don't really know what to think. I mean, we only won one game like last year, so we didn't really improve that much, I guess. We started the season so bad, man. 0-3, 0-4, 0-5. Like, none of these games are close, dude. Then we finally beat South Dakota in overtime, and we lost to Citadel by 10, 23 loss, and then, oh god, 42, I think, by Ohio. And then we ended the season losing to South Dakota State by 3, so I mean, I guess we were close to two wins, but not really. Another recruiting trial, I don't think this class is as good as the class last year, unfortunately. You know, I wish it was, but the fact of the matter is this class is not as good as the class last year. But I mean, the bright side is there's still plenty of guys left on our board that we can get. And if we could reel in some of these guys, it would make this class a lot better. Like Matt and Dunsey, we have no chance of bringing him to town. But like getting like a Zach Sink or a Martezzi Brown or some of these guys, like that would make this class a ton better. Yes, finally, Coach Quagmire, we got some transfers this year. Everett Mons looks like a superstar in the making, dude. 76 overall, just a freshman. He looks really stinking good. And then Levante Parmes, not nearly as good, but he's probably going to be a starter in two years because 
because, you know, both these guys have to sit out because the stupid old rules. But yeah, transfer portal this season, success. I am hoping for the same success we had last sunny day. We're not going after these two guys at the top because Martezzi Brown, we're only down around 1,000 points for him. He's not a Juco. So I'd much rather have a freshman Martezzi Brown than a junior Zach Sink. So that's kind of my thinking there. Then Bill Wilkinson put 2,000 there, 2,000 for Kevin Scott, and then 1,000 for Quentin Scott. So, I mean, we'll see how things go. I wish I had more points, as always, but I think that we'll do pretty decent. If we can get three of these guys, I'll be very happy. Four would be awesome. Oh my gosh, Bill and Quentin, dude, Alaska's not that bad. Uh, that sucks. We did not get Nia Kiki, Matt, Zach Sink. We did get Martezzi Brown, though, and Kevin Scott, so we went two for four. So that makes this the second recruiting class of this video for Coach Quagmire, and honestly, it's not that bad. Like I said, it's not as good as the class last year, because the class last year had 280-plus overalls, which was just insane, but this class still has, like, six or seven 70 overalls, so, like, I can't be that upset. I think we did a pretty good job. Dakota Campbell's pretty good. Juco, Christian, Christian with an O. That's interesting. Holtz, Roderick Campbell, Martezzi Brown. All these guys are athletes, so I hope they're like an 86 overall quarterback or something. That would be very awesome. Definitely ranked a lot lower than last year. Only 91st. I thought we'd be in the triple digits, so that's a W in my book. I'll take that. Third crack at this thing for Coach Quagmire, and the team's honestly not horrible. There's a lot of good young guys, man. Like, the recruiting we've done the last two years, it's gonna set us up very, very nicely for the future. I could not emphasize that enough. Coach Quagmire's doing a pretty good job on the trail. Now we just gotta start beating FCS schools consistently and beating FBS school this year, which I think we could do. Ronald's back at quarterback, the stick man, 6'6", 196. I don't think he's gained a single pound since he's been on campus. That has to change stat. I don't know what our strict conditioning coach is doing there, but he does have 67 speed and he's a pocket passer, so honestly, that's pretty good to see, because usually pocket passers have like 50 or 40 speed, so this guy's honestly decently athletic. He's a good player. Sadly, though, it looks like we'll have the worst team in the country once again. I mean, Army's pretty bad, too, but I don't think that we play them, so we'll see what happens, but I mean, some of these guys like C pluses, B minuses, like we could maybe upset a few teams that we actually do play in our schedule. But yeah, there's no doubt about it. We suck a lot. But 72 overall, it's definitely a big jump because I think last year we were 59. So things are definitely going in the right direction. Three and five. I really just hope that we beat an FBS school for once. I mean, we'll see. I'm not that confident, but who knows? Maybe we did. Definitely did not beat Washington. Mary Mother of God. 66 to seven in year three. Oh my goodness. USF 44 to seven. Oh my God. I mean, all of our wins, it looks like we're FCS schools. I mean, we did play FBS U and LV to overtime, but besides that, every other game was just, it was a murder, man. Lots of murders. For the game this week, though, Coach Quagmire, we are taking on East Carolina. They're not that great, but we are definitely a lot worse. So I'm not expecting much. Maybe we'll pop the upset. I mean, I doubt it. We'll see. Really low score game in the second quarter. I was not able to get us a touchdown, which sucks. So I'm just going to kick up this field goal. Make us a four-point game if I can make the kick. Thank you. Our kicker is very, very bad, but we still made it. It's all that matters. It's starting to get away from us, man. We're down 11. They're inside the red zone. I don't like the situation for us, but maybe we can get like an interception or something. That's the hope. There's like everybody at the line of scrimmage. Okay, tackle. Or miss it too. We are so trash, aren't we? Yeah, we're awful, man. Dang it. Down 12. We're still, I guess, somewhat in it. Not really, though. This game's definitely over. But if they get a first center here, I don't think there's any doubt. Come on, tackle. Or just let them run right. Are you serious, right? That's so bad. Yeah, this game's chalked, dude. They're in field range. There's just no chance. Finish 4 and 8. I really hope our last win was against an FBS school. Please tell me it was, man. Come on. Give me some sort of thing to look forward to. And it was not. It was South Dakota State. We got destroyed by Youngstown State, too. That is not a good look, man. And on the recruiting trail, I'm not going to sugarcoat. It, it's a really bad situation, guys. We only have four commits. Coach Quagmire is not giving the AD a lot to look forward to for the future. I mean, at least three of them are offensive linemen, and we really need offensive line. But it's a 66, a 67, and a 69 overall. It's not anything stellar. At least we have a really good punter, but the rest of the class, it's not great. Like, this recruiting class is going to suck. It's really bad. Only two grads, which is here. Thank the heavens, because we have, like, nobody coming into the program. Andy Lucas, we're definitely going to upgrade a punter there. And then Jonathan Dotson, this guy's awful. So, not really missing much there either. We got to go three for three here, dude. Travis Williams, BJ Walters, David Greenbar. I mean, we should be able to get both these guys. I'm kind of worried about Travis, but we should be able to get him too. If we can just get these three guys, I'll be happy. The rest of these guys, we're trailing far and I don't have enough points. So the strategy is pretty clear. We only have four commits to the class. Let's make it seven. I do not want to risk it for the biscuit and make it like five or something like that. So please just get these three guys committed. How did we do? Please tell me. Okay. I don't know who that guy is. I did not go after him. We got Travis though, BJ and David Greenbar. So I'm happy with that. So that makes this the class this year for Coach Quagmire. And it's kind of like the movie Midsommar 
Mar. I just want to erase it from my memory because when I watched that movie, it was really weird and it kind of freaked me out. It's a movie about a cult. Just trust me. Do not watch it. It's the freakiest, weirdest movie I've ever seen in my life. But that's what I want to do with this class. I just want to completely block it out of my memory like it never happened. I mean, the bright side is Case Maloney's a punter and Travis Williams and BJ Walters. Like, some of these guys could be good players in the future. It's just there's not many of them. 126, dead last. Oh, Coach Quagmire, you did it to yourself, man. I don't know what we did this year, but it was not recruiting. That's for sure. Trade results are in. Hopefully, these guys have been working hard. I mean, all they know is really losing at this point. We still have yet to beat an FBS score going into year four, but the team's definitely way better than the team last year. It's not even really close. It sucks to see so many plus threes instead of more like plus fives and plus sixes, but I guess it is what it is, dude. It's not like I can work hard for them, even though I wish I could. That'd be awesome. Ronald Woolridge, the stick man's back. I would like to see him get up to 200 pounds, but it looks like that's not going to happen. He still has not gained a single pound. He's up to an 86 overall. Like, when he's a senior, he'll be a 90. He's a really good player. It's just, if the right defensive lineman hits him in the right place, I think that his bones might snap in half. That's the only thing I'm worried about. And then we also have Chris Cooks back at running back. These two guys are in the same recruiting class. Like, we need to have this type of recruiting class this year. A stud at quarterback, a stud at running back to help us out for the future. I mean, we do have this Martezzi Brown guy who's 5'11", 231 for the future. He'll be really sticking good, but yeah, Chris Cooks and Martezzi Brown at running back, very, very good. Three and four, all right. Things are looking pretty decent. 79 overall team this year. I mean, can we make a bowl game this year? Potentially. Our points for is actually higher than our points against, man. That's a W. I'll take that. Air Force put us in a body bag. So did Washington, but we went on a two-game winning streak being South Dakota State, Akron, then we lost to Navy and UTEP, but we bounced back and beat Central Michigan, so all three of our wins are one and five, one and five in an FCS school, so not great. We got a game this week, though, Coach Quagmire, and if we can pull this off, we'll be 500 for, like, the first time this entire video, and ULM is not good at all. Their overall sucks, so this might be a win. We'll see. Somebody get open. Oh, R1, please. Warridge, stick baby throw. Let's go. Good job, Cardi. All right, see what you get here, Randy. I don't know if that's open. Oh my God, it actually is. Let's go. I did not expect that to work, but I'll take it. Fourth quarter now, we are cooking with fire. I mean, it'd be nice if we were like blowing them out, but we're up eight points. I can't really complain. And we have the ball. We just need to get a first starter here and it should be game over. That might be a touchdown. Oh my God, Reeves. Fast? Is he fast enough? White lightning? White lightning? Oh my god, he's got fight lightning! Let's go! Good game, boys. I don't know how he just did that, but he did. He wanted that touchdown. Let's go. There we go! All right, Coach Quagmire, 6-6, six and six, 500. I don't know if we'll make a bowl game because we beat an FCS school this year, but I mean, we'll see. We obviously ended the season pretty strong. We beat Buffalo 60-54. to 54. Wow. We lost UNLV by three, and then we get destroyed by San Diego State, but we bounce back the final game of the season to beat South Florida, man. And that might clinch us bull eligibility. We'll see. Thankfully, the recruiting has been way better this year. It's night and day, bro. Oh, it's so much better, man. I don't want to be that person that guarantees things because, you know, I don't know everything. I'm not like Nostradamus or that one blind woman. I think her name was like Baba Vanga or something like that that could see into the future. Like, I'm not those people at all whatsoever. But this recruiting class could win us a national title, man. I don't want to hype them up too much because they might let me down. But these guys have a lot of talent, man. There's a lot of them, too. We really needed. It. I'm shocked we actually made a bowl game, but I'll take it, dude. We're playing the Vampire Piggies in this Cheez-It Citrus Bowl. Isn't that like a pretty important bowl game? I don't know. Maybe uh, Coach Quagmire has an end with an NCAA executive or something. I don't know, man, but I'll take it. X? That might be a touchdown. Stick man, make the throw. Let's go. All right. Good start, guys. I love it. Still up seven. It's the second quarter now. For some reason, they're going for this fourth and one. Maybe their kicker sucks or something. We just need to try and get a stop right here, guys. Throw a pick. Throw a pick. Throw a pick, please. No pass rush, dude. Yes. Incomplete. Let's go. Oh, he's one for 11 passing. Oh, my gosh. Our defense has been putting him on the clampers. Let's go, guys. Keep it going. Certainly not the situation I anticipated being in in the fourth quarter. We're down three points, and we need to get in the field goal range. It's your time to shine here, stick man. X, please. Stick man. Oh, my God. That's bad. Uh-oh. Yeah. That's game over. Shoot, dude, we really choked this game, man. What happened, defense? He was 1 for 11 in the second quarter, and they scored 24. Oh, man. Once again, barely anybody graduated, but you guys all know this. Dakota Campbell, though, sucks losing him. He's actually pretty good. These two guys, though, they are utterly horrible, so it's that the end of the world. Saturday day is here, and we picked up a really good player on the day. We were going to get Devin either way, so I didn't really show up, but yeah, this is the class. You guys have already seen it. I only added Devin and some other guy. I think it was like a 69 overall or something like that. I don't know who it was, but this class is so much better than the class 
class last year. That class was an absolute joke. But Coach Quagmire, he went into the lab. He figured out what he did wrong. And you know what, dude? He executed this year because this class is really stinking good. Devon Ridgeway, Devin, I don't know which way to pronounce it, but this kid is way too good, bro. I'm super excited to have him, even though he's a Juco, which sucks. But DeMarcus Smallwood is really good as well. Then you got Alex Bramblay, 6'5", free safety. Me, Likey, Perry Whitfield, David McCoy, Alima Wicks, quarterback of the future right there. He's a scrambler, too. Coach Quagmire loves those. Dwayne Days, Chad Cherry, like I said earlier, dude. There's just so much to like about this class. Like, I'm really happy with it. Gotta be in, like, the top 60, right? Eh, 68. Oh, we were one spot away from 69. Stupid Utah State took it from us. But, yeah, I love our class. I could not emphasize it enough. We're also up to two-star team prestige. That's nice. And here's the quarterback of the future. This DeMarcus Smallwood guy. Look at it, dude. He's from AK. Isn't that Alaska? Oh, wow. He's in state. I don't know, like, why his parents live here. But I will take it, dude. 84 overall quarterback. You know, I said that Alima would be our quarterback of the future. Now, he still might be. He might be, like, a really good redshirt senior. And DeMarcus might leave us early. But this guy is going to be a stud. That is the quarterback of the future right here. DeMarcus Smallwood is... Oh, he's 85 speed, too. Yes, let's go. I think it's year five of the Coach Quagmire era, and I think the goal this year should be eight wins. Can we do that? Probably, because our schedule is trash. I made sure to schedule as many crappy FBS teams as I possibly could. So all we really need to do is just be eight of those teams, or just seven and then win the bowl game, and we will be in the Mount West next year, which is not exactly like a vacation spot, but it's Alaska, dude. Who wants us? There's no Pac-12 anymore, man. Ronald's back at quarterback, did not gain a single pound, and he's not even a 90 overall, man. Just disappointing all the way around. I mean, he's not a bad quarterback. Like, I don't hate the guy. It's just, he's a stick. And then on defense, it's led by the Swedenberg guy. 6'6", 235. He should get drafted. Nah, I don't know if he will. I mean, that's yet to be seen, but he's 84 speed, 6'6". Six six. I don't know how an NFL team would not want this guy. Especially if we could have, like, redshirted him. He'd be, like, a 98 overall or 97. But yeah, this guy's a stud. I really do think we can win eight games this year, dude. Our most difficult team is Washington. They're not really ranked in the preseason, so we'll see how that goes. But we're playing Louisiana Tech, Utah State, Wyoming. I mean, there's a lot of Mount West teams. So we'll see about that. Oh, we play Ole Miss. I hate being that guy. I'm, I'm going to make this game a lot easier for us. Middle Tennessee State. Does it change the strength of schedule? Interesting. But yeah, this is going to be our schedule this year. It's not very challenging. We should be able to get like seven or eight wins. We'll see. Seven games into the season. We are six and one. As you guys know, our schedule is not very challenging. But still, man, I'll take that up to an 86 overall. Who was the jerky jerk that beat us? Was that Akron or West Kentucky? Of course. It was Washington on the road. But at least we were closer this year than we have been in years past. So I'll take that. But the rest of the games, though, we won, as you guys know. This game, though, we got UNLV at home. They're undefeated, but I think we can win this game because their overall isn't as high as I thought it would be. It's only like an 84 and we're an 86. So on paper, we should win, but we'll see. And for this game against undefeated UNLV, we have like seven guys visiting because we already have some commits down here. But you know what, dude? These guys should try and convince the guys that are visiting that aren't committed to commit. I think that's usually how recruiting is. I think that's called peer pressure. We need to peer pressure these guys into committing, man, because I need to get some commitments, man. Let's make it happen, boys. So I'll get a stop. Should I run commit? I'm going to do it. You only have once. Yellow. Oh, gosh. That's awkward. Yeah, that worked. That sucks. Holy smokes, dude. We're up 14. Things have got a complete 180 in the best way possible. We just need a score getting right here, boys. Let's extend this lead. Slant. Cheat code. It's just too easy, dude. Especially it's UNLV, who apparently sucks because they are getting crushed right now. We scored another touchdown, dude. It has just been a splattering. Let's score again. Let's put them out of their misery. Is that going to be a touchdown, potentially? Divine? Devine? Devine! That's the speed! Kaziah, man. That guy's a playmaker. That's game over, dude. This was an absolute murder. We only picked up one commitment after the game. It was Bakari Williams. I'm not gonna lie. I expected a little bit more. It's like he's bad or anything. It's just like, we had so many people visit for that game, and they were undefeated, and we beat them by a lot of points. I was hoping that would be like a turning point in the recruiting process, but no. Finished 10-2, so only one more loss, and we finished top 25 for the season, dude. So all in all, dude, just a resounding successful season for Coach Quagmire, that's for sure. Beat you, Tepe was actually ranked somehow. Then we lost to Middle Tennessee State, which sucks, but we bounced back, beaten Army, and another ranked team, FAU, 17th of the country, man. So, end of the season with two ranked wins. Pretty impressive. And on the recruiting side of things, we picked up some new commits, but this class is pretty underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. We really needed linebackers and offensive linemen, and we got those. It's just, there's a lot of them that aren't that high of an overall, which is pretty sad, but I mean, all in all, the class isn't horrible by any means, but definitely could have been better. But I mean, the bright side is that Coach Quagmire is only getting better as a recruiter, so. I mean, that class last year was insane, so I can't really be that upset. Play Toledo in the quick lane bowl. They're actually pretty solid. Eight and two in the MAC. I mean, that's not anything stellar, so we should be able to win this game. We'll see. Slants. It's a cheat code play. Stick man. Step up. Stick man. Speed. Speed man. Let's go. That's a 6 7 speed. They might call him a pocket passer, but he's got a little wiggle to his jiggle. Well, we're trailing now, so safe to say we did not capture the momentum we had early on. But either way, we just did score right here. Get the lead back. Slants again. 
cheat code play. X is gonna be a touch jump. It's just too easy, dude. Like, they just don't defend the slant. I don't understand. I could jab Cordell. Oh, gosh, dude. This is intense right here. It's for the 10. There's that much time left in the game. All we need to do is just get a stop right here, though, and a cheat cheese, dude. That's all we need to do, guys. Just stop him right here. I know it's easier said than done. I'm not pretending that it is easy. I got clicked off. Not good. Oh, they've got slants. Cheat code play. Out of bounds, let's go! That was a stupid decision by their quarterback, man. I'll take it. Bull game done for Coach Quagmire, baby. Players leaving time. This Kiwi Bennett Jason guy is transferring to San Jose State. Not really gonna miss him much. He's got a cool name, though. I think the first name's Russian. And the second guy, Swedenberg's gonna get drafted. Good for you, man. But for the rest of graduates, no draft picks. Really? Chris Cooks is not gonna get drafted? Oh, wow. That's shocking. I mean, I'm not really shocked by the stick man not getting drafted. He didn't gain a single pound. And on top of that, he did not get up to a 90 overall like I thought he would so that was pretty disappointing but yeah man it sucks for chris cooks i think he deserves to get drafted signing day this year is pretty depressing you guys have already seen the class we picked up two new guys on signing day i think we picked up oh who was it i don't remember who it was oh it was keon register and then uh also some other athlete i think i don't know who it was but either way just know this class is not as good as the class last year as you guys know it's pretty underwhelming but the silver lining is that we did hit all of our team needs so i'm happy about that it's just you know we filled them with players that aren't that great this guy is six eight oh Oh, God. So awesome, man. I love the height. Nick Schaffner's not bad, though. Drew Steinkamp, uh, Joey Brevard, Jacob Thomas, the 6'8 monster, Bakari Williams. Like, we have some good athletes in the class, too, so it's not all bad. Probably not ranked very high, I'd imagine. 36th? What? Oh. Oh, it's a four-star walking on. Who's this guy? T. King. Gonna have to cut him, which sucks. But we're up to a three-star T. Prestige, and as you guys know, next year, we're gonna be in the Mount West. So I'm looking forward to the future, man. Things are definitely looking good, but Ohio had a better recruiting class than Ohio State. What is happening? Your Sace is here for Coach Quagmire, and this team is probably better than the team last year. So I would not be surprised if we walk into the Mount West and we let all those boys know that we are Papa. Demarcus, I am so excited for you, dude. 89 overall, 86 speed. He's from right here in Alaska. Barrow, I've never heard of that, but I'm not exactly educated with Alaskan cities and towns. 95 acceleration. This guy's gonna be so good. And he's got pretty decent receivers to throw. Tech. These guys are not Will Beaters. They're not Marvin Harrison Jr., but Cordell Douglas is an awful. Neither is Keziah Divine. He's that bad. And then we got some young guys down here like Steinkamp and Joey Brevard, who we should be able to throw to in the future. Yeah, we need to recruit some more wide receivers, dude. Senior, junior, senior, senior. Yeah, we got to get some receivers on the roster next year. That's for sure. Preseason predictions, I told you, dude. First, the Mount West. Anybody that really scares me? 83, 84, 81, 81, yeah, 83. Yeah, I'm really not scared. We're at 90 overall this year, man. We are definitely getting better because last year we were at 86, right? So we could make the playoff this year. We'll see how things go. We open the season up, though. It gets our bitter rival, Washington. We might actually beat them this year. Now, I'm not going to get ahead of myself and, like, predict a winner or anything, but we we could pull off the upset. We should be able to just run the ball right at him, right? I mean, you think. All right, we have a really good running back. Yep, there we go. Good start, boys. My Tessie. Surprisingly, it's been a really low scoring game, but I mean, the bride says we're still tied, so we have a chance to win, but the offense is driving. Not good. Do not like this defense, I'll be honest. Come on, throw a pick. Stower! Oh my gosh. Dove across the field like Spider-Man. Oh my gosh. I don't know how we're still in this situation. We're only down seven. We can actually win this game. We just need to score a touch right here. Please, Axe. Oh, gosh. I just got played. Oh, my. God. Well, I just got baited, dude. That's so bad. I cannot believe I actually threw that. Oh, my God. That was... Uh, okay. Yeah, well, we lost. Eight and four. We didn't even win our own division, dude. Oh, my gosh. UNLV, the 83 overall team. They really beat us by two games in our own division. That's disappointing. Be Washington State. We lost to New Mexico and Utah State, really. Oh, my gosh. Five and seven and four and eight. We beat Air Force, who somehow ranked. Don't ask me how. Uh, but then we lost to UNLV as expected so yeah this season pretty disappointing not gonna lie the good news is though that coach quagmire has been going ham on the trail i mean this guy is a six six athlete i cannot wait to see what he plays javez mccord we also got another 80 overall juco it sucks for both jucos but they're both really good players i mean this recruiting class is really stinking good i'm happy with it all in all there's a lot of depth in this class too which we still need because it was not long ago where we had a recruiting class that we signed seven guys what was that like two or three years ago so yeah the roster still has some pretty big holes on it so this definitely helps Helps us address that. So, yeah, I'm happy with the class. Barstool Bowl against Ball State. I mean, you'd have a hard time convincing a fly to watch this game. I don't really know how to feel. I mean, maybe Portnoy will watch it because, you know, it's Barstool. It's his company. I mean, we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm not really too intrigued by the matchup. I honestly thought this would be a blot. As you guys can see, it has not been a blot. Dude, we're only at five points. It's late in the game. We need the defense to clutch up right here. An interception. Please throw one. Oh, it's up in the air. Pick it. Pick it. 
Let's go, Ridgeway! That should be game over, right? Yeah, that should be GG's. He's got dredge, too. Good play. Let's go, boys. Three turnovers. We still barely beat them only by five points. Way to ice the game, though, Devon. Good job, buddy. We convinced Bakari Williams to stay. That's a W. I honestly think he might be able to play this year. So, yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't transfer next year. We do have Everett Mines getting drafted, though. Good for you, dude. He's going in the fifth round of drafts. That's his second draft pick of video, right? I think so. But for the rest of you guys, they're not going to get drafted. Sucks for Cordell Douglas. I thought he was good enough to go to the NFL. I guess now. But there are a good amount of guys graduating. So, we are going to have to replace quite a bit this season, which kind of sucks. 72nd class of the country. I'm kind of shocked that we went up a star in T Prestige. I don't quite get that. But I'll take it, dude. I mean, I like our class a lot this year. And this is the class this year. It's basically the same class, except for two guys we added. Chase Ripkowski is just such a sweet last name. And also a 67 overall down here. Jay Stadar the second, another 6'7 athlete. Like, all these athletes, dude. They're just so awesome to have, because they always go up an overall at a specific position. I don't know why it's like that in this game, but, hey, I'm going to try and use it to my advantage, man. You guys know about Javez McCord, 6'6 athlete. You guys know about the defensive end. Jacob Frederick looks really good. He's a true freshman. Cameron Holden, also a true freshman. Isaiah Tomlin, another really good quarterback for us in the future. Ronnie Cox, like, there are some really solid players to have for the future, so yeah, I love the class. Trade results have come in, and I don't really know how to feel. I mean, our running back and quarterback are really good. Like, we have some studs in the team, but it kind of falls off a cliff at the bottom, so I mean, there's a lot of plus fives, which is really good to see. So the boys were definitely working hard this offseason. It's just, you know, the roster isn't, like, playoff worthy. Now, can we upset, like, a really good team? Potentially. We'll see how far DeMarcus Small can take us, and also Martezzi Brown. Like, these two guys are studs. DeMarcus is back at quarterback. I really hope he does not leave us after this year. I am gonna try and do anything I can. Coach Quagmire is gonna try and convince the kid. I don't know what he's gonna do. Maybe he has a girlfriend on campus or something like that. I'm hoping for that, dude. 87 speed, 96 excel. He is just such a good quarterback. He's from Alaska, too. This is his home state. I need him to ball out this year. He is our only chance at making the playoff. If this guy just goes absolutely insane. As for defense, our best player is David McCoy. He is basically like our ball hawk of the defense. He's kind of like our last resort. 94 overall, 91 speed. Like, he's a really good player. He should get drafted next year, too. 10 and 2. Not bad at all. I mean, it sucks that we did not go undefeated, but I mean, it's kind of unrealistic. 8 1 in the Mountain West. I mean, our offense was ridiculous. The defense, though, is not nearly as good, clearly. Who are the two losses? We still have yet to beat Washington, man. They beat us by 17. That sucks. 67 to 64, and then 62 points. Oh, my God. The offense was insane. Oh my goodness. This is actually crazy. We lost the final game of the season, really. Oh man. So we could be 11 1 right now. It was for stupid Wyoming. And on the trail, our class is completely finalized. Our highest overall is a 77, unless you count our kicker, which is pretty disappointing. But yeah, all in all, it's kind of like how it's going to be. You only be able to recruit three star recruits. I wish you could find more like 80 plus overalls. I just was not able to find that many gems this year, unfortunately. But there are still a ton of good players. So, like these 70 overalls, you give them five years of the program they can get up to like an 88 90 overall and those are pretty decent players so i'm not really upset with it at all i think we did a good job this year but now we're in the mount west conference title game and we are playing boise state who's only an 81 overall so we have a 10 overall advantage like on paper we should win this game pretty comfortably but we'll see oh god it's already 14 and out there dude we are just obliterating them early on it's only the first quarter let's score again right here guys someone get up and circle yeah the curl route is just so good in this game good job kevin it's 28 to nothing now let's just score again let's make it 35 let's put this game away, man. There is just no chance they're gonna be able to come back. Smallwood's not even in the game anymore, man. Do you get hurt? He's got a Charlie horse. Either way, no excuses. Got a score right here. All circles will be touchdown. That's just way too easy, man. I didn't even think that was really open, but I'll take it. Kevin Scott again. This game's open, baby. Las Vegas Bowl against UCLA. This is a little fun matchup because they are on the West Coast, and California's pretty close to Alaska. I mean, it's not as close as, like, Russia or Canada, but, I mean, it's somewhat close. This should be fun. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's, like, Judgment Day or something. I have no idea why it is so bright in the field. Maybe the sun's extra bright. I have no clue. All I know is we need to get a stop, throw a pick, or step up and run, and nobody is even trying. He just got stiff-armed like five yards into the end, so that's so disrespectful. We're putting up a pretty decent fight, man. We're tied at 14 in the second quarter, but they are back at the red zone. So defense, don't do what you did last time. We need you to bow down. I don't like this situation for us. It's a toss to the outside, and the guy got pancaked, and he's tripping over another defender. Oh my gosh, man. It's not looking great for us, man. If they get a first turn here, I think that we are screwed. But I mean, at least we put up a good battle, even though Coach Quagmire is not a big fan of moral victories. Handoff looks like it's a try. 
Corral. We got two guys right Corral. there, and they don't make the tackle. You cannot be serious right now. Well, that's one way to lose a game. Players even stage Bakari's transfer. Sox, 76 overall. Freshman, I don't like that at all. DeMarcus is coming back, though, dude. I don't know how Coach Quagmire convinced him. I do not know. I doubt we'll be able to do it next year, but I'm just going to focus on the present, man. I'm just going to try to join for one last season. This year, though, dude, we have four draft picks. One of them's a punter, but I'll definitely take that. Ethan Lemieux, uh, Case Maloney, and David McCoy, and Martezzi Brown. So, yeah, easily the most draft picks in a single graduating class. That's awesome. For the other graduates, though, how many of them are there? Eh, not that many. We should have a decent amount of coming back next year. I mean, not anything like crazy. It's not like we didn't lose anybody to graduating, but not too much. Side of days here. You guys have already seen the class, so I'm just going to highlight some guys. Josh Ford, six foot two nineteen from Alabama. John Lewis uh, from ME. That's Maine, right? Or Massachusetts, though. I think it's Maine. Ja'Kai Henry, big boy from Ohio. Deshaun Melton. We got two really good running backs, so that's pretty nice. Got some offensive linemen and defensive linemen down here, too. So, I mean, we hit up the trenches. I mean, I like our class. I think we did a good job. Semi third class this year for coach quagmire i mean it was anything stellar but i mean we can only recruit three stars so i mean we're kind of limited but yeah i still think we did a pretty solid job year eight is here of the coach quagmire era and we will see what we do this year maybe we can make the playoff we're gonna have to win a lot of games because the mountain west is not very challenging so if we want to make the playoff we gotta lose at the absolute most one game so we'll see what we can do this year but the team's definitely capable like we should be better than everybody in the mountain west by pretty considerable margin i'd imagine demarcus is back a quarterback for us what more can i say about the kid he is basically our messiah he He's probably going to leave us after this year, which sucks. But 88 speed, 97 excels. So he's a really good player. Easily our best. It's not even close. In our defense, the best position is the cornerback room. It's not even close. 91 overall, 89, 88, 87. Like, there is a lot of depth here, man. 93 speed, 94, 95, 94. So no Turtle Turtles back there, too, which is nice. 7 and 1. I won't take that. We're a top 10 team. Looks like we lost the game in the non conference It was probably Washington. But our points for is ridiculous. Our points against, though, not so much. I'm assuming it was Washington. Yeah, we lost 54 to 28. Oh, goodness, man. But the offense is just ridiculous. 44, 45, 50, 56, 48, 45. It's just insanity, dude. It's so good. And on the recruiting side of things, it's been so good early on. 81 overall commit, 80, 78. I don't know why we couldn't find these gems like the last couple years, but I'm just glad that we found them now. Okay, I'm not going to complain about it, but yeah. All in all, this is shaping up to probably be the best recruiting class so far this video. We'll see what happens. For week 8 or week 9, I don't really know what week it is. We're playing Fresno State, who's 3-1 and one in our conference, so this might be for the division. We'll see. Someone's got to get open in here. Right? At least I hope so. It is slants. I'll square. Yeah, that's just too easy, dude. Especially against those crappy DBs. Good job, Drew Steinkamp. Well, so much for a butt whooping, dude. We're 10 at 14. The defense has just not held up their end of the bargain. Either way, though, would you see a score touch right here? Let's get the lead back. Circle. Oh, he just got destroyed off the press. Yeah, that's just so easy, dude. Oh my goodness. Their DBs are just so trash. Good job, Roddy. This is so much better, dude. We're at 15 late in the game. All we need is one first down. And it should be GG's on this bad boy. It's slants, Chico play. It's gonna be too easy. Cause they're what are they? There's nobody even in the middle of the field. Steinkamp, that was the worst spin move I've ever seen. Is that going to be a touchdown? He wanted it badly, but he just was not close enough. Good job, Drew. Okay, I don't know who we lost to, but I'm not exactly thrilled with that. It was obviously somebody in our conference. The offense was just ridiculous. 510 points scored. That is insane. The defense, though, it was a little lacking this year, but it was better later than the season, it looks like. We lost to Y, really. We should have used some of these points that we scored against UNLV in that game. We only put up 21 against Y, but we did bounce back to pick up two wins, so I can't be like that upset, but I am still sad, dude. We should only have one loss this season. Back in the Mount West Conference title game, we're playing New Mexico, who's like a 78 overall. If this is not like a 40 to nothing win, I will be disappointed. Once again, man, we just do not blow anybody out when I play these games. It is what it is, though. We're up 10 points. Just get another touch right here to Marcus, Mr. Smallwood. It should be GG's. I'm scared. Can I throw that for a touch? Of course it works, dude. Our tight end was such a good feel safe right there. Good job, Jacob Frederick. That's another Mount West Conference title. Finally, in the playoffs for Coach Quagmire, we are sitting at the 9 seed. We're playing South Carolina in the first round. They're 10 and 3. Like, they're not anything stellar. I mean, I don't think we're going to make a run or anything because Texas and sitting there waiting for us if we do win so we'll see what happens but let's just try and pull off this win not exactly ideal we're already down seven to nothing but the good news is we have the ball and we're driving so we just need to get seven right here tie this game up i feel like this will be a pretty easy touch on to our tight end maybe i'm wrong I mean, it looks like an offensive lineman, but it does not matter. Yeah, he is a big man at tight end. Good job, Quown. I don't know what we did, but we're up 35 to 17 now. Things are looking awfully great. If we could just score a touch right here, I think it's probably GG's. There's a lot of routes on the field. I feel like one of these is going to get open, right? 
Triangle? Yeah, that, that was kind of scary for a second, but that defender didn't know what was going on. You couldn't tell day from night. It's game over, boys. On to the next round. You guys know who we're playing. It's Texas a and the one seed in the entire playoff. I don't think this will be closed, but maybe we could pull off the upset. We'll see. First drive of the game, the bright side is we did not let them get seven. The sad side is, though, they're going to score points. I mean, unless they miss this kick, which would be awesome, and no. Their kicker does suck, though, so we got to keep that in mind for the rest of this game. I don't know how we're still in this game, but we are doing. We're only down six in the second quarter. Just need to score it here. Make sure we don't shank the extra point. We'll have a lead. Someone get open. R1? Are you sick? I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have thrown that, shouldn't I have? Oh, God. Hindsight's 2020. I didn't think that guy would jump that high. Uh, that's my fault. God dang it, Tanner. It's still a close game. We're only down six points. We do need to get a stop right here, though. If they get a first down, we are fudged. Bring in the safeties down. Very aggressive. I'm anticipating a run. Yep, up the middle. Low! Oh, missed it. Oh, no. Is he really gonna take it to the crib? It doesn't matter either way. And he breaks the tap. Okay, well, I guess he is gonna take it to the crib. Oh, my! He breaks another tap. That's so embarrassing, dude. Oh, my gosh. I mean, at least we put up a battle, but, man, we had a chance right there. Players in stage. We gotta try and pull out all the stops for DeMarcus Smallwood. How can we convince him? I'm clicking the X button. Okay, here we go. Uh, it was a tough decision, but I didn't even click anything. That's so bad. Well, that did not go as planned. Uh, what about these two transfers? Can we try to convince one of these guys? Okay, he's gone. Uh, and then DeVarcus McCram, and I doubt he'll come back. Undecided. Actually, he's not even going to play for us. He's a 70 overall, so I don't want to give him, like, a false sense of security and hope. So I'm just going to let him leave. But we do have three guys staying, though. Dwayne Days, Alima Wicks. Really need him back at quarterback. And then Perry Whitfield. But you guys know. DeMarcus is gone, and so is Travis Williams. They're both going to get drafted. As for the other graduates, though, there's barely anybody, dude. If only DeMarcus would have came back, bro. Like, this team can win a national title. But with him, I think they would win a national title. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, there's a lot coming back. Side days here. We have the 74th rate class this year. I think that's kind of around where we We've been most of the video because we can only recruit three stars. But yeah, six star T prestige, man. We are moving up in the world. We are officially maxed out as a program. Coach Quagmire has his place humming. And this is the class. It's phenomenal. By far the best this video. And it's not even really close. I'll be honest, dude. Coach Quagmire, he went into his bag. These boys want to come play in the snow. That reminds me. It's been pretty disappointing, man. None of our games have been snow games this year, which has been pretty sad because, you know, we are in Alaska. But it, it is what it is, dude. Alex Thomas is a superstar waiting to happen. He might be able to play year one. I don't know. I, I Probably not, but he might be able to. Kenny Pamphlet. Filet, this guy is so good. 6'5", 240, 40. He's not even a pocket passer. He's balanced, bro. We beat out basically the entire Mountain West for this kid. Andrew Peterson from Ohio. He's insanely good. Marcus Aday. Luke Perry. Like, none of these guys are Jucos, too, which is incredibly clutch. First impressions of the squad for this season. It's really good. I wish that Mr. Small would have came back because this team definitely would have won a national title. I'm not, like, 100% certain it will, but it has a very good chance, man. There is a lot of talent on both sides of the ball for this team. Alima Wicks, you have waited your turn. I'm so glad you did not transfer. You're 93 overall with 80 speed. Like, this guy is a baller. He's not as good as DeMarcus, obviously, and his eyes are not open for some reason in this picture. I don't know why. Either way, though, I feel fairly confident this guy's gonna be very, very good for us this year. Some other guys I gotta highlight. Corey Kane, 6'1", 231. Big boy. Also, Dwayne Days. You guys know the wide receiver's really good. Javez McCord, 6'6". Six, six. Oh, so good. Ronnie Cox, 6'3", 240. Mother of God. These receivers are freaks of nature, dude. Perry Whitfield, you guys know the corner room's pretty good. We got really good receivers, really good corners, and pretty decent linebackers, and uh, decent offensive lineman and defensive lineman. We just have a lot of good players. We don't have any, like, superstars. Preseason AP polls. Where are we sitting at? Net one, net two, net three, net four, net five. But six, dude. I told you 99 overall across the board. This is the recruiting class that I said, like, four or five years ago. We'll win us a national title. We'll see if they can get the job done. But this team is super talented compared to everybody else in the country. So I have got big expectations for us this year, man. Nine and one. Oh, gosh. What happened, guys? I thought we'd for sure go undefeated this year. It looks like we lost to somebody in our own conference too which blows who was the jerk that spoiled it we beat miami though which is nice uh, who was hawaii really and by the way i did not play washington this year because they were like on a vip list like i wasn't a lot of scheduling for some reason but yeah dude we really lost to hawaii back to back seasons to make up for not being able to play washington we're taking on Ole miss at home i'm very much looking forward to this game they're a top 10 team but they already have two losses which just shows that the old system of ranking people in this game is just so trash either way though we just need to pull up the dub alima i just realized dude your name sounds like a very, very bad disease. I feel bad for you, man. Maybe it's like a element on the periodic table. I have no idea. Either way, though, Alima, this is your play, dude. Redaption right here. Come on, Alima. In the open field. Oh, my God. He fumbled. Oh, my gosh. Are you sick? He's going to go to the end zone, isn't he? Okay. Yep. Alima, you're on the naughty list. Well, we're still trailing now in the second quarter, so things have not really gone that well. But we're back in this field goal. We just got to make sure we don't shank this thing. Come on. I'm pretty sure we have, like, an All-American kicker, right? Yeah, that thing is easily going through. All right. Only down one at the half. Yes, we got the lead. All we need is one first down, guys. Clutch up right here, please. It's all I'm asking. Just one first down. Right at him. 
Right at him. Corey, let's go. He got clobber too, but he did not let that stop him. We're going to the first down. Good job, boys. GG's. Only had one game left and we beat Church of Southern. So what does that make us? 11 to 1, right? Yep, we finished 11 to 1. Our points for wasn't as good as last year, but our points against was so much better, dude. That's what it should be, though. We need to play better complimentary football, and I'm glad we're doing that this year. I believe it's the third Matt West Coward's title of this video. We're playing Colorado State. I'm like 90% sure we already played them and we absolutely destroyed them. 49 to 7 of the regular season. Let's just simulate this. I have no doubt in my mind that we are going to obliterate them once again. And yeah, oh, not obliterate, but beat them by 19. Still a W. Now we're out of the playoff. Penn State route to the destroy Louisville. So I'm not going to lie. I am a little concerned. Oh man, we're already down a touchdown, dude. We got to tie this game up, boys. Let's score it here. Come on, Alima. X. That might be it. Get in there, Robinson, the big boy. Good job, Crown. We're trailing again, dude. We're down three in the second quarter. We got to score a touch right here, man. We got to get the lead. X, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's just too easy. It's quad again, dude. I don't know how they leave the big man open because he, he's obviously hard to miss. But, yeah, they keep doing it, dude. Let's go. Another touch up for Crown. Late in the game, we're down three, and we have to make this last second field goal in order just to go to overtime. Dude, this has been a disappointing game. They're only a 93 overall, and we're in 99, and they are really the team in control for most of this game, which sucks. We just need to win in overtime. Already down at the goal line. We got to score here, dude. Yep, perfect. Of okay. course, it's quad, dude. This guy's been the MVP so far this season. Please, no way, right? Pick. Are you see? Wow, that was an absolute laser. Dang it. Okay, David, you can't get a stop last time. I need you to get one now. It's a fake. Oh, please pick. Yeah, there it is. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, all we need is a field goal now. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not going to risk anything. I'm just going to kick it right now. It's right up through the middle. I mean, this is the easiest kick ever. We have a really good kicker. Easy peasy. And yes, dude. Out of the semis, boys. That was way too close for comfort. Next game, please just blow them out. Oklahoma. They upset North Carolina and Auburn. They're a 10 seed. I rarely play them in the playoffs in these videos. So I'm excited for this. I feel pretty good about this, to be honest with you. Cut it inside. <laughs> Corey K. That's what I'm talking about, man. So elusive and swivel and jiggle. Sneak. Man, that was so cool. Why can't we ever pull any of these teams out, dude? We're down seven in the second quarter. Let's just score a touchdown. Let's tie this game up. And no, I don't care. It's fourth down. We're going for it. Come on, Alima. Let me see what you made up, dude. Oh, it's man coverage. Square. The curl route. It's going to be open. Let's go. He must him. I told you, dude. He'd make it happen. Good job, boys. Tie game. Late in the game, it's literally just like the Penn State game, except for the fact that the game's tied and they don't have 24 points. So all we need to do is just kick this field goal right up the middle. Our kicker's been a stud all year long. We just need to be a stud one more time. Please up it through. Up it through. Up it through! On to the natty, boys. Let's go. This would be so poetic, dude. We have not beaten Washington the entire video. We couldn't schedule it this year, but we have a chance to beat them in the national title game. Let's go out there and execute Coach Quagmire. They're blitzing. You can see it. They walked up. Very intense. Yep, told you. Blitzing. Squares open. It's a slant. Let's go. Good job, Ronnie. We might get a blowout this game. You know, I wanted it last round or maybe the round before, but so far, dude, if we can just score again right here, we'll be at 14 at the half. Come on, Alima. You're a dull threat quarterback for a reason. Keeper. Alima! It's open. Let's go. Into the end zone, boys. Up 14 to half. It might actually happen, guys. We're up 18 in the fourth quarter. All we need is one touchdown. And this thing is over, boys. That might be a touchdown. Oh, my God. Laser. Laser. Stein camp. Let's go. I cannot believe that actually worked, dude. That was a beam from Alima. Let's go, boys. GG's. And now Coach Quagmire gets to celebrate winning Alaska, the state, a national title, man, for this new college. All the Alaskans out there, you deserve it. I don't know how many of you exist. I really couldn't care less. We did it for Alaska, Coach Quagmire. Early on, things were not exactly great for Coach Quagmire, but that was kind of part of the program he was taking over. But in year five, dude, we went 11 and 2, 9 and 4, and then since then, man, 11 and 3, 12 and 3, and then we finished it off in year 9 with a national title going 15 and 1. If you enjoyed, click the video on the screen where I created a college with zero fans. I think you'll love it.